like some DIY detail here. The question is, can you rinse us wash an extremely dirty car without a hose? The answer, my friends, is yes. Take a look at this paint. It's full of salt, it's full of gunk, and I will tell you, it is a coated car, so if your car has some kind of protection, quick beads, ceramic gloss, or a ceramic coating, preferably ours, this method is gonna work very well for you. I've got Rinse's Wash in here. That's our Rinse's Wash, diluted 256 to one, so one ounce of product to two gallons of water. Watch me pre-treat this paint, and we'll see how it all behaves. So I am gonna use my nozzle here almost like a pressure washer. I'm gonna pump my IK up as much as I can, and I'm gonna get close to the panel using hot water and try to really get it going there to flush as much gunk as I can off before the contact wash. So already I've used rinseless wash on this section. I didn't hit up here, so essentially it should work top to bottom, right? Boom. I'm always a little less worried about windows because you're not gonna worry about scratching windows. But that method right over here, I'm gonna make sure it's all the way to the point where it's gurgling on me. Top to bottom, I'm using as hot a water as the tap will give me. And all of these little tight nooks and crannies, I'm gonna get real close. I'm gonna treat this like a pressure washer. The more I can flush the paint with this, the better. So I'm gonna be the opposite of stingy with water. Ivan would typically tell you, just a nice pre-spray with rinseless. I'm gonna be a little more selfish with product than that. But you can see, and the slower you move, the more water you're gonna put on that paint. Of course, the water mixed with our rinseless wash is our rinseless wash solution. But look at these amazing results so far. Like I could have taken a pressure washer out and done the whole thing, but instead, I've essentially flushed the panel and it looks awesome and it's gonna be a super safe rinseless wash process. Take a look at that paint. And just remember, we have not used the legacy sponge on there, no contact at all. And take a look at this paint. We're not even talking about wheels right now. Although you can see how nasty it's been here in Utah. But again, let's see what this does. Nice slow movements. And this is the power of ceramic coating, ceramic gloss, quick beads. It's gonna make your vehicle so much easier to clean so that you can actually do this in the winter time. You see all the, check this out, snow, mud, dirt, no pressure washer needed. Watch this. The power of a little bit of PSI, warm water, the rinseless wash, and protected paint. And this is something you could absolutely do in your garage. You're gonna get a little bit of moisture, but nothing crazy. What about this little snow chunk? Will that go? Come on, big guy. See, even that is no match for the power of rinseless. So tell me, a pre-treat with a pressure washer or this? Works pretty dang good. <laughs> You guys, just look at the difference. I know it's wet, everything looks better when it's wet, but the paint don't lie. This is clean, and that is nasty and dirty. We haven't even washed it yet. I should have washed that first. Ivan will tell me I need to be more efficient, you know, one panel at a time, but hey, it's YouTube. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and finish off this, this front part of the car here and get to washing and just show you how easy this is. DIY detail legacy sponge on the verge of dripping. I like to just, boom. I like to grab one sponge, drop the other one in, let the rinseless wash, emulsify all the dirt, hold it in suspension while I'm working. Ivan always teaches, just be very methodical, right? So wherever you start on the car, start there every time. Don't triple check at the end if you're done. Get all your spots. Hit all your windows, your corners. Be methodical. I disappeared. 
It's fun to be me in my head. All right, so we're gonna get into here, right? You don't wanna miss any spots. You don't have to come back here and, like Ivan says, don't scrub it 10 million times. Just do it the right way the first time. It's definitely dirtier on this panel down here. So I'm gonna hold off on these until the end because even with the rinses pre-spray, it's looking pretty brown and gunky down here. I don't even remember what side I used because I'm on camera, but typically the Legacy sponge is wonderful for that. So I'm just gonna hit the window because I'm never worried about that in terms of scratch risk. Okay, Nick, you're using the black side for the door panel. I'm gonna hit every little nook and cranny here. Pull the handle, make sure I get under. And again, the rinseless wash is holding the dirt in suspension. I'm gonna use the other panel, the other side of the legacy sponge, the red side. But you've got that dirt in suspension with the rinseless wash on the panel. And so this wash process is actually incredibly safe. I'm gonna go to the lower panel here because I gave it a little extra love for YouTube. And there you go, now it's time to dry. And now comes the fun at the end. We've got our ceramic gloss, our drying towel. Oh yeah, a couple of sprays in the panel, a couple of sprays on my towel. Um, you probably are not gonna need a couple of sprays on the towel after the first panel or so, but I'm kind of priming my towel. Um, once it gets its ceramic gloss in there, I do wanna pre-treat the panel. I want drying aids, right? Like I wanna give myself every chance I've got here, but that's not dirty at all. Nope. And then I'll just do one more on the towel, one here. And essentially, I'm just gonna methodically work one panel at a time, top to bottom. I'll hit all my corners. And the great thing about using a rinseless wash is you're not chasing drips for days, right? You're just not. Because you just didn't introduce all that much moisture with high pounds per square inch, with high PSI. So you're not gonna get the drips out of the handles. I'll make sure I've got plenty of lubrication from the ceramic gloss. Again, waiting on this until the end. Did get a little dirt on my towel, so I would just wait for your lower section to the end. I'm not gonna use that side. In fact, I'll probably toss this towel into my dirty bin uh, moving forward. Now, again, I'm not really worried about windows. Windows are fine. They're not gonna get scratched up. Plus, I have another towel in my hand, so I'll do a couple windows here. I'll make sure I get this chrome trim. That's not even the dirty side, so let's do one spray here. And again, the methodical nature of this all is once you've done it, you don't need to go back and do it again. Fresh towel, couple sprays on the towel, couple wide fans on the paint. Could the rinseless wash be dangerous, Nick? Oh my gosh. Do the results speak for themselves here, folks? And again, I'm not gonna be stingy with product that could potentially help me lubricate and uh, mitigate against any potential dirt, um, especially during this rinseless wash process. But I think the results, you guys, are just speaking for themselves as we go. And the best part is you're not dealing with nasty drippage at the end. So you can really tell where you've been and you can see if you've missed any spots in real time, so you're not going back and fighting drips for another 20 minutes, which is awesome. So, a couple sprays, one on the towel, bada bing, bada boom. No, nope, that's not dirty. But I got close, guys, I got close. So save lower panels for the end. I hope that shows you just how easy it is to do a rinseless wash in your garage, especially if you have a protected vehicle on a nasty vehicle in the middle of winter. Now. What I'm gonna do with the wheels, the rims, I could absolutely do that exact same method. I'm gonna wait till the end with my legacy sponge, and then I'm gonna go and do this, same process. Uh, and same thing with the wheels and rims. I'm gonna probably fill that uh, sprayer up one more time, uh, right at the end, flood the rim faces. I could even pre-treat with a little bit of all clean if I want to, uh, then flood the rim faces and the wheels with uh, the rinseless wash, wash with maybe just a raggy towel. You know, your kind of utility towel. I wouldn't use this 
unnecessarily to dry or wash. The Legacy sponge you could use, but I typically just like to use an old ratty towel uh, to do my wheels and rims. I just wash that down, dry it with a bit of ceramic gloss on your towel, dress the tires, and head out in the winter where it will get dirty once again. You guys, if you like ceramic gloss, I've got a playlist right up here. Enjoy. Enjoy.